What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out coming at you with a review. Uh, the sound might be a little askew. Uh, my mic died and I did not realize it the first time I filmed. So I'm gonna have a little overlay happening in a couple seconds of me opening the original pair just so you guys can see what the packaging looked like and then I'm gonna get right into that. It might even be over by now depending on what I chose to do. But be that as it may, I'm getting into this review. So everything is open on the table already. Um, I just want to get right into it. I did get a size 10 and a half, but I didn't show you that. It's the same pair, same size that I wore in the other gel mods that Ronnie did. So I just kept it moving and assumed that they would be exactly the same. Um, they might actually fit a little bit better, seeing as to how they're not like suede and all that extra material. It's just a sock liner and a thin mesh. But detailing, detailing, detailing. I pulled the insoles out, so I'm just going to put those to the side for now. I'm going to put both shoes in front of us. I'll turn one down. I'll turn one up. So we'll do lateral, medial, and we'll review from the medial side first. So I did notice a couple things already. Uh, the accents on the shoe are a little askew. Um, I don't know if they did it on purpose. I'm pretty sure they did it on purpose because why would they do that if it wasn't on purpose? So this whole upper area here on the overlay on the medial side and the lateral side are two different textures of the same material. So this side, if you've ever done like stucco or felt the side of a stucco house, it's kind of like pounced on. It has that kind of rugged feel to it on the overlay. If you flip it over to the medial side, or oh, the lateral side, I apologize. It has more of a tactical feel to it, all synthetic. So I'm assuming that it's synthetic leather just, the way, just by the way it feels. It smells like leather, but not really. It's like a fake belt at Chinatown, uh, which I usually don't expect out of Italy, but it is what it is. Uh, I, I figured maybe they'd be a little bit more all over the quality control, but who can really help that? Uh, underlay is as follows. You got this green mesh across the entire underlay of the shoe and some of the other portions in different colors, but it's a honeycomb style throughout the underlay and the heel portion underneath this synthetic business wrapping all the way towards or pushing all the way towards the forefront of the foot uh, also you got a 3m piping across in like a semicircle style here you probably can't see it with the light but also again the um, that honeycomb continues sorry for all the noise outside I don't know why it's doing that I'm just having a really hard time making this review today could you keep it down I'm filming what could you keep it down I'm filming Why is the door open? I don't know I forgot it was open Stretching towards the forefront of the foot. You still got that honeycomb design throughout the rest of the shoe. Wrapping towards the uh, toe cap area. You got a pink patent leather. A little crazy, a little kooky. It looks like icing from a donut. Kind of wild. Uh, split tongue action or the split portion of the uh, middle of the shoe. You got a 3M piping again. Pink rope laces. And then a pink underlay or the pink mesh with the honeycomb design as well. With slam jam etched in there. Or not really etched. It's, uh, it's got like that plastic press on business going on. And then you get to this tactical synthetic business on the overlay so it's it, it's a different texture and it's on both shoes the same exact way but then you got your green underlay again in the mesh with the honeycomb throughout the rest of the shoe rolling into the heel counter you got obviously that mesh again you got another tactical synthetic feel towards this heel portion here with a pink translucent um, plastic overlay to that as well uh, kind of meshes up with the ASICS logo on the midsole which is kind of cool I guess uh, overall the color is a little bit better than I thought it'd be I thought it was a lot brighter in the green which you should this is just like a fun summer shoe you throw it on a pair of shorts white tee chilling <laughs> uh, we'll get into the extras real quick uh, and then I'll show you the other shoes and or I'll show you the other shoe and the uh, the footbeds you got a like a nylon paracord throughout here. I don't know like what this is for. It doesn't look like a lace. Kind of looks like the thing that goes inside of here, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, one lace lock is what I'm assuming this is. I can't really tell what it is because there's only one of them. If there was for both shoes, there would be two. So uh, maybe it's a way to pop this thing out. It's a way to tighten it up. I'm I'm really not sure, but I'm I'm very intrigued. So if anybody knows what this is, hit me in the comment section because I'd like to know what it is as well. Uh, you can see this pink piping which isn't pink piping it's a clear plastic with a pink rope throughout the inside of it uh pretty clean they use that to tighten up the shoe as like the last grommet so if you're wondering what that was all about you got a yellow liner on the inside of the tongue and the ankle and achilles area and uh let's do the uh, midsole real quick so midsole is navy across the entire thing on the medial side yellow on the outsole and then flipping around to the lateral side you got like a burnt pink towards the forefront of the front of the uh, the midsole and they're rolling into navy and that baby pink hit again like we spoke about before. Uh, I'm gonna get into the footbeds. 
Footbeds, left and right. You can see a little hit of slam and a little bit of jam on left and right. And ASICS logo monochrome on the left shoe only. I'll do an on foot for you guys. If you like the content, shoot a thumbs up. If you like the channel enough, hit that subscribe button. I got stuff coming out every week. Uh, breakdown will be up sometime tonight as well. Or with this or before this, whatever. And uh, I'm getting out of here. Peace.